We haven't seen anything this profound in quite some time. The Uber team and, and our development team here have just been sparking each other. Yeah, this was a completely new approach to uh, a brief or a cabin because it's not traditional tube, it's something completely new. And it's for a new way of transporting people. Our studio here in Saffron Cabin is a very collaborative environment. I mean, there's a lot of design agencies out there, there's a lot of engineering organizations, but to have that research and development facility within a manufacturing organization like Saffron is just super powerful. We get to start with a blank slate and we can create environments and fundamentally build this cabin together through many iterations, try things that maybe you wouldn't think of. So taking the, the, the high level requirements of the turnaround time and the four people on board and the eight minute flight, we had to first really understand how large the vehicle was. We had six full scale mock-ups. There was multiple iterations within each one of those, whether it was the seat or the liner or the window positioning. I think Uber was very instrumental in helping us do that as well. They didn't say, no, this is what you have to do. They said, oh, where are we going? Let's go there together. Come on in. What we have here is the third iteration of an ergonomic study. This has been just such a tremendous process in terms of seeing things in uh, real life and a one-to-one -one scale to validate assumptions around the passenger experience. I think what Uber really educated us on is the idea of movement and how their vision of how do you move people and goods and services around is really the global picture that we're looking at. You have four people pulling in a vehicle for an eight minute flight that has to turn around in five minutes. And keeping them comfortable and safe along their journey really drove a lot of the design decisions once we get into the actual process of building the vehicle. We don't want any excess weight, any excess cost, anything to take up space it doesn't need to. But that doesn't mean it's not purpose built for the mission. The mission requires safety, it requires a, a comfortable user experience, and it requires a seamlessness of all the interactions. And so while the cabin may be minimal in some ways, it's absolutely purpose-built to the mission, and I think that's the important part. This is a flight experience for four strangers, but you don't want to start closing it off and making it private and putting privacy dividers up. Again, it's cost and weight. So the, uh, the herringbone is just a nice subtle way of turning your shoulder away from the person next to you. Not, you don't feel so intruded. And it faces you out to the window, so you can enjoy that amazing view at 1,500 feet, uh, which is just going to be spectacular. We're looking for complete optimization. Because Uber's building an ecosystem where the entire aviation and transportation community can thrive together. The energy around it makes this inevitable. This is like the origins of aerospace again. There's nothing like this has happened for decades, so it's very exciting. This is only the beginning.